Look at us, Kugane. We are back live. Look at this screen. That's us. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> so, yeah, back in Antwerp for the in Antwerpen for Antwerp. the calling. Yeah, the biggest event in Europe. I never miss an occasion to say it because I'm so happy about it. But yeah, um, we're gonna have a very good game right now. I know that people in chat, and we always try to satisfy chat, have been asking for this game. So it is going to be Pablo Pinto on all him versus George Melisakis. I, I, I know, I hope it's the right way to say this name, but George is playing Lexi. So that's a nice matchup and that's going to yes. be exciting. Now we've already seen that Lexi is capable mm -hmm. of beating an all team, even if the new yeah. rising gets destroyed. So. Who do you think will win this one? I, I mean, it's hard to root against Pablo Pitar. First, he's a great guy. <laughs> yes. He's amazing. He's a great member of the community and he's one of the best players to ever play the game, you know? So he's always placing well in these big tournaments. And you know that if he picked a, a, a hero like called him for this event, it means that he came prepared. He knows what he's doing. And he, yes. he yeah, there's nothing left to, to chance. So yeah, right now they're just checking the deck lists. So we'll wait just a little bit until they are, they're ready to, to start the game. They took, uh, the, the break was a little bit longer than usual because they needed to rest after the, their games. It's been an intense couple of days, as you can imagine. So yeah, we want to see them as rested as possible and to make sure that they, they can show us the, the best game possible. I'm what sure do you think? I'm sure we will see it. Mm -hmm. In this I'm matchup, not sure. how, how, I'm not sure. the, yeah, do you think? I would, I would still assume that that all team is still a little bit favorite against Lexi. Yeah, but that's but, what we saw. But oh, yeah, yeah. all the games I've seen with all team against Lexi, it almost feels like a 50-50. Yeah. I also haven't really seen much competitive data or anything about it, mm -hmm. so I'm, I'm really not sure. Like, it highly depends. Like, it does, for example, the Lexi have like Toys Cortex of Inertia or not? Mm -hmm. Because yeah. that makes a huge difference if Absolutely. they can uh, deny all team that Arsenal. Mm -hmm. So, we need to wait and see. I yeah, I guess we <laughs> need to watch that game, but that's a good thing. That's what we're here for. It's gonna happen soon. It soon. is gonna happen. Yeah, well, hopefully soon. Yeah, because. There's a good chance that this game is going to start be a little bit on the longer side, you know? It's not going to be a short one and uh, you know the defensive capabilities of a hero like all them. So even an aggressive deck like Lexi won't be able to to destroy him in, in 10 minutes like the way she can do it sometimes when she runs very hot. So yeah. I mean there's a lot on the line as well. So I I guess from a player point of view, mm. if you make to the semi-finals, yeah. you want to make you want to take your time mm -hmm. and not be like, oh, because I forgot my tunic, I lost, or something <laughs> like that. Yeah. We've seen that happen at some yeah. big stake. It does happen. In the yeah. past, so. I don't know if it happens to a player of the caliber of Pablo Pinto, but it happens to people. It happens to me. Oh, yes. <laughs> does it happen to you? All the time. Yeah, yeah. It's my special skill. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We so. talked about it, actually, yeah, in your profile on Twitter. So, yeah, there you go. Don't forget your tunic counters, kids. Uh, Melisakis, oh, he, he has a big fan club on the, on, in chat. Look at that. Melisakis for president. Melisakis has lost to zero all games so far. So, yeah, the, the Melisakis fan club is very confident about his abilities to, to, to get rid of Pablo Pinto on his way to victory, but... You see the famous yeah. Sunflower yeah. Samurai mat as well. I think <laughs> the Sunflower Samurai uh, have something to say about that too. Go <laughs> many, all right. So many fans, but you know, yeah. But Pablo Pinto has almost. I, I think he lost once during this tournament, so it's basically the same thing. Even if he lost versus one or two Lexis, I don't even think he lost against Lexi. We we need to check the data, but well, yeah, we will assume... post the deck lists absolutely. He lost to Melissa Kiss in the in the rounds, yeah. But what is going on on Pablo's side? Uh... The cards. It looks they like look uh, Legends of the F Five Rings cards, and I think that's because he used to play Legends of the Five Legend of uh, the Five that Rings. That must be the game. Yeah, that, yeah. Uh, we were talking uh, yeah, about yes, him yes. before in uh, <laughs> backstage before we we went back live, and I think he was uh, Legend of the Five Rings player. A 
very deep, very complex and interesting game, by the way, Legend of the Five Rings. Just love it. I've never played it and I feel it's something that would be right up my alley. But... Yeah. Ah, oh, there you go. I'm a bunny confirms that Pablo was great at L5R. Yeah, very, very good game. Lots of um, ninjas are, are summarized, you know, in, uh, yeah. in Legends of the Five Rings. So right, right up your alley. You I know? think that's one of the, the great things about Flesh and Blood as a game. That mm -hmm. there's such a high diversity in uh, fantasy settings from different yeah. cultures. Mm -hmm. So you can reach a large variety of people mm -hmm. like that. And Oh, there you go, the Pablo fans are coming in. Good. Let's get some rivalry going in chat. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we want to see. Vamos, Pablo, there you go. And the yellow sleeves to go along with the sunflowers, the sunflower colors. All these, all these players from Spain, they're very nice people. I don't know if you've met them, but every time I you, have, you yes. meet them, they're, yeah, they're so nice, so approachable. And Pablo is just a, a great guy all around, you know? A great, great member and great ambassador for the game. Great member of the community. <laughs> yeah, so we can welcome the new chain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. New chain, is there yeah, be a new chain? Yeah, I, I guess I guess Vincent is considered as, as the new chain in uh, in the root blood circles, but okay, okay. <laughs> it's gonna make all him be like a kid. Okay, yeah, yeah, nice. Like Olympiacos. It's a football club, right? I'm not familiar I'm not with sure. this, but yeah, I guess it is. I guess Olympiacos is a great football club and that's why he's... Maybe George is a... He's a football fan. Ah, but, uh... Do we say soccer or football? I, I say soccer to annoy football fans. <laughs> Oh, Olympiakos 1 versus Rhea. Oh, there you go, and Panathinaikos is the better club in Athens. Just to start another rivalry, nice. Nice chat. Well, try to behave now and focus on this game because it's going to be intense. I have no doubt about it. And they are almost done shuffling, I hope. Yeah. Let's play, guys. So probably no, not many surprises. Not yeah. Mm -hmm. Probably not too many surprises on the equipment side. Yeah. It's the standard lineup. Yeah, that absolutely. You see most yeah. of the time. Again, no vampires on the Lexi side. Mm -hmm. I guess they really rely on that uh, bullseye bracer to. But we've seen it over the last couple of days that they really need the bracers to be able to assemble the longest chain possible sometimes. So even if the. I mean, the on hits don't matter really. You just want to get the, the widest chain possible. And get the damage through. Mm -hmm. A little bit of damage here, a little bit of damage there, and then eventually. Yeah. Even an all team will cave in. Okay, so George starting to pitch the death touch, maybe to see it a little bit further down the line. And I is mean, this is a decent opportunity mm -hmm. to either load up the arsenal for the future turn or to try and get some cards out of uh, Pablo Sand. Okay, so nothing from that. He, he seems to have a very defensive deck. You can see the Oasis Respite. Okay. Oh, so Pablo was first and actually, yeah. And George used, uh, used Voltaire to put a now in his ah, arsenal okay. in, uh, in his opponent's turn. And I guess Pablo was contemplating maybe attacking because his turn wasn't over as soon as uh, George took an action. But there you go. 
So knight is turn, attacking with remorseless just for five. But with the go again? With the go again, yeah. But no buff. Using the crown. Crowning away. And stopping defense one damage. reaction from Arsenal mm -hmm. can be quite relevant. But as we saw, he has... He's playing cards like Oasis Respite, who can play around these uh, Remorseless quite efficiently. But you want to make the most of it and use it as much as possible when, uh, when you're below, below your opponent in health. Brothers and Arms, Brothers that's and arms, uh, something the blue I one, haven't yeah. seen mm -hmm. for a while. I guess it, yeah, that's another proof that his deck has to be very defensive in this matchup. And the hamstring shot. Five blocked efficiently for six. Dark minus mentions uh, remorseless before uh -huh. codex is good. Yes, yeah. yes. And then the heat seeker in the arsenal, but not attacking with it. Pablo will just probably be able to arsenal. Yeah, and there you go. Another brothers in arms in Pablo's hand. Okay, okay, nice. Always good to use the Winter's Bite, yeah, to make sure that he has one less card to, to defend with. And now for some arrows, ladies and gentlemen. Haha, <laughs> which one is coming first? So it's probably... Okay. Oh, he had the second Winter's Bite, actually. Yeah, it's, it's Not very aggressive hand, you know? can be quite good to put it in the arsenal yeah. as well, so... Ready. He pitched it for later down the line, and now he can attack with the Bolton shot, getting plus one thanks to Voltaire, so... It's the yellow one then, I yeah. guess? It's the yellow one, plus one attacking for four go again. Nice use of the, of the rampart there. Okay, well, I guess he just used the prevention effect from the crown of seeds and didn't pay for the... Did he pay for the rampart? Uh, he paid for the rampart, yes. With the uh, Terra Sunder. Mm -hmm. So he should have had two floating now. I mean, he paid for... He paid one for the Winter's Bite. And then, yeah, he probably had one. Left over, yeah, for the for the rampart and then for the crown of seeds. So that's, yeah. Yeah, a pretty weak turn for George, but it uh, it will help help him set up a, a bigger one later. Looks like Pablo is going to use the resource, yeah, to come back. Slam With the red choke slam, yeah. A red choke slam in, is nice. Yeah, I guess it's the. We can't see, we can't read choke slam, so it's probably the Spanish version. And this, it is very relevant because these cards like Bolt and Shot, they won't be able to gain go again the same the way they used to. Uh, you can't just buff them and uh, and rely on the go again. So, so let's see. Very important not to let it crush. Maybe. I guess what. Uh... With Lexi Sand right now, it should be okay. They can just play around with uh, the go against, I assume. I wonder what the last card in the arsenal is. Probably another Winter Spider or something. No, Maybe because he pitched, he pitched one and used one. It would mean that he had three in his previous hands. I don't know.
Right, let's see. But he, he seems like he wants to block it. Yeah, so he's only taking two no crash effect on this choke slam. Losing the infected yeah. shot though, that's quite yeah. harsh. Especially because we, we've we seen that he has a three of a kind in his end, so it's gonna be a, a smaller turn. Okay, let's see what this is. I don't know if, if uh, Pablo is actually playing the, the tech we saw earlier today. The buckle with buckle up. Oh, uh, not buckle up, the... Um, buckle with uh, buckling blow. Uh, buckling blow, <laughs> buckle up. That'd be a nice game for a card, by the way, buckle up. It has three of a kind card. Yeah, 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 yeah. So... What's that an art of war? Back crew, yeah, there you go. I think that's an art of war in hand. That's, uh, <laughs> oh, there you go. It was a premeditate in the arsenal. Mm, yeah, the art of war from hand, not what you want to see when you just played the, <laughs> the, art, the, the, the three of a kind. But the premeditate is nice. Okay, respectable. So this is coming in for, for eight, seven. I guess. Isn't uh, four, drill shot five? No, actually? it's four. Four plus, plus three from the premeditate. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so Pablo doesn't wait and uses the crown right away. Of course, this helps the ancient. Doesn't block very well, and you'd rather use it to attack. Okay, so blocking for. Oh yeah, using using the the effect of brothers in arms to block for four and three seven. Still has one prevention from the crown of seeds. It's out of oh, the, the bottom. big battering bolt coming in for six. Yeah, seven. Why? I think, uh, I think... Oh fact, no, yeah, he, he used... Yeah, yeah, it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't give go again. He gave plus one with Voltaire, of course. And Chalk Slam. I think sense. Chalk Slam was only two damage last turn, so... Mm -hmm. It's not active. So you're using the shield and then two cards from hand to block for seven. Perfect. There you go, George. Not the biggest three of a kind turn, but still enough to deplete Pablo's hand. The rain race is in hand finally, so mm -hmm. maybe we will see a big turn now. And Pablo doesn't have the best defensive hand. He's a, he has a sigil, apparently. Depending on the arrows in the hand, this could be a mm -hmm. significant turn. Okay, the okay, hamstring, hamstring shop hamstring coming shots. in for four. Four plus go again, yeah. You want to look at it, Pablo? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't pretend like you're going to let it hit. I mean, with the oh. right raises, it might. Well, he, he does, actually. Okay, blocking for four at least. The unhit effect is uh, probably won't matter anyway because there's no way he's gonna be he's gonna want to attack. Probably have to block all these arrows with the rain razors effect. I guess this is also a really good moment to play the codex. Mm -hmm. oh. Didn't he pitch the codex last turn? Does he, he have another one? one? Oh yeah, there you go. Infecting shot maybe, or remorseless. 
Oh, he might want to go for the for the button seven. shot to attack with the sitting shot next. Oh, the heat seeker, rather. Yeah. Well, by going for the ball and shot, then uh, he has go again. Mm -hmm. With the heat seeker, he would have to sacrifice the snapdragon. So I think this is the the safer play. Mm -hmm. But now Crown of Seeds is life. Uh, yeah. So it is something to consider, but that not a very efficient way to. Isn't it a yeah, he's taking five, but shot? I think he wants to block just a heat seeker now. It's there a yellow go. one again, or the red one? The golden shot. Golden shot was the yellow one. Yeah. Okay, so just the ponder token, letting George refuel his arsenal with one card. He could have had two, but uh, Pablo had the, this the sink below at the perfect time. I was about to say the life thought needs to be mm -hmm. updated. Yeah. I mean, it's hard for them to to remember every single time that they that lose health that they had to to do it on, in our our tablet for the display. Falcon Wing, talking to Fogger okay. again, yeah. He's gonna be a pretty wide turn already with the with the Bolton shot too. There's a tree block, probably going uh -huh. for the crown next. Yeah. Look at that, they're already checking their graveyards. <laughs> and this turn is over, so I was wrong. It wasn't a white turn, it was just a way to... Well... I mean, having a double arsenal with yeah. uh, the ball and shot, it's... Probably waiting enough? for yeah. Probably waiting for a second, uh, a second three of a kind or an art of war maybe. Well, we've seen one art of war, so that oh, that the rain razors coming in from the arsenal now. Okay. And that's two Bolton shots, so yeah, nice efficient way but to. But what is the point of flipping this one now? We didn't. Isn't it possible to just attack with the ball and shot and then play the rain raise as a surprise? Mm hmm. Unless forcing the block is a is the goal here, to show it. I mean, Pablo wants to block anyway. I think he's committed to going to the fatigue plan. You know, he has he's attacked only once. So. The other semi-finals is uh, okay, Uzuri I think we see versus Lexi. Okay. It is an interest, interesting line, you know. He chose not to attack too much, so Pablo now has to get rid of his of his arsenal there. Whether getting using the crown going. during his turn, yeah. And just arsenaling next <laughs> with another card and saying go next. Your turn, man. Oh, Icequake. <laughs> Into Bolton shot. That's I've seen so many no fuse Lexis lately that I'm a bit surprised when mm -hmm. I see an ice cut. So blue ice quake, I think, or yellow? Probably a blue. 
Yeah. So it should be plus one. I think, and as a plus two. Looks like the yellow one because I only see two dots. Well, it's a blue ball and shot coming in for four, yeah. so it must be the yellow then. Yeah, yeah, there you go. And Pablo blocking it all. Okay, <laughs> there you go, it's my turn. <laughs> 35, okay. Oh, another three of a kind now. So that's what he was waiting oh, for. Wow. The oh, wow. It is going to be a big turn now. Plus four to all the arrows now. <laughs> you can see a hell oh Jesus in chat. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's go Tatsuki Suvlaki. Yeah. Okay, let's go, George. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, now Pablo might be in a lot of trouble. I mean, there's a it, seven with go again. This, yeah. Oh, eight even Not, does the yeah, plus one eight. from uh, Voltaire. And I bet the, the races will get cracked this turn. Oh, yeah. Pablo taking all the, these damage, yeah. Like the vanilla damage, you take it during these turns. You can't afford to, to let some kind of, yeah, the heat seeker or something like infecting shot hit. So you take, you take oh. the arrows that do nothing apart from damage and you try to, to avoid the unhit effect of the most annoying ones. But do you block the heat seeker there? Yeah, that's a card advantage. Yeah. Uh, you kind of need to block this one. I don't know what else is in hand, but... Kashka says these are cannon shells, not arrows. Yeah, <laughs> it looks a bit, big, a bit big for an hour, you know? Oh, and he can't block everything, he has... Look, he has a, a a, yeah, another again? sigil in hand, yeah. Getting a bit punished by putting by all these sigils now because he hasn't been able to do much with them. So okay, he got some health back, obviously, but well, he still has to full French equipment as well. So yeah. maybe it's even idea to okay. So looking for four, but still ahead. That's five damage coming through. Yeah. Wow. He's getting pretty low. It's not the. Oh, the bolt and shot, it's going to be very hard to block this one, but he has to do it, yeah. You don't want the free reload. So there you go. Has to use the quiver of rusting leaves. Just to try. Yeah. And it worked! <laughs> wow! So that's for eight? Seven. Why yeah. is this one seven? Because he, uh, no plus, yeah, he didn't use no the plus, plus one, one from the, from the Voltaire, yeah. No, no, from, from Oh, uh, yeah. From the braces. He can't block anyway, so he only has the sigil now. So he's gonna take five damage, uh, seven damage, and getting three back. But that's wow. Oh my god, <laughs> that was a searing shot. <laughs> It is devastating. Look at that. George is at 38 and Pablo is getting so low now. How much damage was this? So we had the, the Falcon. I think he was at 25 at again. the beginning of the game, of the, of the, the town. And the premeditate coming in in the arsenal. With the heat seeker effect. Wow. A very impressive turn by George. That, that double Wouldn't you rain say? raises, yeah. though. <laughs> I mean, and he waited a long time to use it. I don't know if many players would have had the patience to use for, to, to wait 
three turns for a second rain risers. I didn't but see he did that and line. He was, he was. That's probably why he revealed it early to yeah. force the double mm -hmm. block. Okay, another bolt and shot coming in for eight, thanks to that premeditate. Wow. Chad is saying that was 41 damage presented. That's uh, a lot of damage. It is strong, yeah. Can he do anything? How do you come back from this hole? How do you come I'm, back from this? I'm not sure if he can, to be honest. Yeah. Well, he still has two sigils, I think. That he used one or two so far. Yeah. I mean, he has the second one in the arsenal. He didn't use it. And now he's gonna count and it now away. It's at the bottom. Yeah. So if he has a defense reaction, he can just block it cleanly with the defense reaction and defense card. Respite we see that, yeah, significant. There's, yeah, there's an oasis respect and a seal below, so that's something. Okay, using the sink. Okay, that's one life gained. And the sink now. That minus, uh, we are speechless after that. Well, it's a good thing it was caught on camera. Mm -hmm. It's one of those gaming moments when you retell it, it's like, yeah, yeah. Chat is going crazy. All the, the Greek players in chat are going crazy for George Melisakis now. Is that the end of George's turn? Also, I'm a bonist, uh, has finished uh, counting the, the damage on, <laughs> on the last turn from George. And that's apparently 41 damage. Thank you. <laughs> and thanks, guys, for being so so many watching with us today I staying with us through the, through the game the yeah. mm -hmm. 960 of you are watching with us and that's so cool of you don't hesitate and follow if you want to see some more action we're, we're gonna we'll be back in uh, in two weeks with the battle arden from metropol Ruhr in germany should be a fun time too look yeah the deck just keeps on giving now it's out of war time <laughs> and there is a there is a three of a can too. Okay. Expecting shot getting banished for the draw. And a three of a can. Wow, it is absolutely insane. <laughs> I mean we've seen lots of uh, Lexi players lose on stream during the weekend. But I, I guess part of the reason was that we've never seen such consistent big turns <laughs> from these players. <laughs> George is absolutely on fire this game, which is weird for a Lexi, for a Lexi player, but he's a Lexi player. He's an nice hero playing with the Volcar playmat, so I guess it makes sense in a way. I mean, it's, it's kind of like uh, they're playing Fi with a little bit extra. <laughs> yeah. It is crazy, wow. That was the first full air activation. Just the first one. Searing shot now. Taking for five, so very dangerous on his attack. Well, this needs to be double blocked. Otherwise yeah, it's or just maybe use value. the crater fist. Maybe it's the time to use the crater fist. He's been very patient and waiting for a long time not to not to commit too many pieces of equipment for the um, for the unhits, but oh, uh, he has the, the heart of Fiendal, yeah. and yeah, yeah. Well, that's maybe it's even time to block with the boots then. 
Okay, so one half from the heart, one from the from the Yaozis respite. So that's at least something. He's gonna need lots of heart to come back. That's much to say. I life. smell an all team comeback right there. Yeah. <laughs> And you know, considering that he took, uh, that he took a, a 41 damage turn with, I mean, a subpar hand for blocking, I think the body language on Pablo's side is pretty relaxed. So, I mean, I've always been impressed by the guy, but I'm even more impressed now. <laughs> well, there, there's there's only, no way I'd be so calm. There's only one Rain Razor left in the deck. Yeah, I'll, yeah I mean, that's something. Left. Yeah. So maybe Pablo thinks he can continue blocking that out. I mean, the braces are gone now. Mm -hmm. But I mean, if if a player can do it, it is Pablo Pinto, yeah, right? Oh yeah. One of the very best players to play this game. Oh, not even attacking now. Okay, so we saw and we see some some DRs in the hand. Oh uh, no, only one. One staunch. Fucking this one for three. Yeah. Oh, using the okay. art of war, yeah, to buff it, With giving it go counter. again. Nice. Very nicely played from George. Oh, Zach Bunn in the chat. First message from Zach Bunn in the chat. Hey, good to see you, man. Yeah. I mean, nobody, nobody will dare count Pablo out, right? It just looks very grim earlier yeah. being at six. <laughs> I think it's the, oh, wh uh, we've crossed the 1000 mark in viewers, so thank you so much, guys. Thanks for staying with us. And don't forget that there's a finals after that one, so <laughs> we might be in for a while. Was that the biggest Lexi turn you've ever seen? It is the, be the, the biggest Lexi turn I've ever seen on stream, and I think ever too, yeah. I think in my case, well, I've seen some 35 damage yeah. range turns, but not that big of a turn. Mm -hmm. I think the Lexi players usually see that, say that uh, 35 damage is average for them, but I think they are, you know, it's, it's not true and they're just trying to impress everyone, but... <laughs> yeah, I saw that too, we may best. I saw them start pitching, pitch stacking very early in the game. Yeah. There's also a um, a Rain Racers down there. Yeah, on the first turn he pitched the Rain Racers, I think. Okay, so now the Endless Owl is blocked. So maybe it's just a matter of keeping the pressure on until the Art of War Rain mm -hmm. Razor turn rolls around. The other I power turn together, comes back. Right? Yeah, the, the should be, yeah. I mean, we talked about this earlier and it, there's no way I can exactly remember the pitch stack of George, but uh, we've seen that he tried to assemble something for the later turn, so for sure there's going to be a huge he, turn later than the line. He also put remorses to the bottom yeah. with uh, the double mm -hmm. full yeah. activation yeah, yeah. and the off turn. Yeah. Pablo, looking at what's left, what are the threats coming coming next? The thing is, we see a lot of cards in uh, in George's graveyard, but his deck seems pretty full still, which is impressive. I don't know, maybe he played more than than 60 cards. Is there a way to to I think to play more cards just to avoid be, being fatigued by all them? I think they bring most of the side, but except like three cards usually mm -hmm. from what I've seen. Yeah, I've been told, makes sense. So. If 
if I was the old in player, I would have won the first Pro Tour. Yeah, me too. <laughs> if I was Pablo Pinto, I'd be very good. But I am not Pablo Pinto. Yeah, I mean, I'm not sure 100%, but I think we saw all three Rain Razors. Yeah, we probably thinking a long three, time yes. for this one. Carter says that all three have been seen and used. Mm -hmm. I thought one went to the bottom now. Oh, am I mistaking you with the other four? Yeah. Ultim is sitting at 900 points right now. So if yeah, Pablo so can somehow win this <laughs> one and the next one, then... Uh... <laughs> Just right at the 1000 mark and hitting Le Living Legend. I mean, that's an accomplishment by itself. Yeah, if you absolutely, can yeah. Living Legend yeah. at exactly 1000 points. And he'd be the, the second Guardian to, to get to Living Le Legend after Starvo, after Bravo the... Star of the show. Did you ever get to play Bravo Star of the Show, by the way? I did get to play it and... Did you enjoy it? I didn't enjoy it and my <laughs> opponents didn't enjoy it either, so... <laughs> I went and played Chain instead. <laughs> Which I don't my know opponents I... also didn't enjoy, but yeah. I did. I don't, I don't remember if I talked about it on stream because I talked to, uh, about it uh, yesterday or something. But uh, I, I actually built the, the Star of the deck just to, to start playing it, but there are, there are no events in my area, you know, in my region. Mm -hmm. No no armories and no, no, no way to play at events. And before I got the chance to play it, it went to Living Legend. <laughs> it went by so fast that I just built it for nothing. I still have the cards though. I, so I, maybe I if there's a Living back. Legend, you know, format, I can play it at some point. I'm not a big Guardian player, but the whole triple elements thing really <laughs> interests me. I was like, oh, that's yeah. cool. I built the deck and then... I mean, the hero was cool too. He was cool looking and, and the effect is amazing. But maybe a bit too amazing. <laughs> okay, so the Codex of Inertia coming in. Yeah, making life miserable probably for, for Pablo because he won't be able to keep his arsenal. That's a lot of Codexes. See, Lexi is not only shooting arrows, she's reading a lot of books. And Uzuri won the other semi-finals, so wow, at the very least, <laughs> you, can, uh, you can know that there's going to be an Uzuri in the finals. Uzuri is the underdog of the matter. Y yeah, <laughs> I mean, the deck is very good into Lexi, and uh, I think she... Uh, uh, what's the name of the player? Uh, I think that's Sebastian. He just beat three Lexis in a row <laughs> with, uh, with his Uzuri deck. So very impressive and a very nice way to, con to counter this, uh, this meta game where Lexi is very prevalent. Maybe Uzuri is the answer, you know? Against most decks, I would say so. I think I think Uzuri struggles against Dromai, though. Yeah, so a little bit. We... Yeah. Mm -hmm. But that will be a very good matter now. If yeah. there's too many Uzuri, so there will be Dromai. If there's mm -hmm. too many Dromai, there will be more go white aggro mm -hmm. again. So who knows? Maybe we'll get a very nice uh, meta. We'll yeah, we we three or four heroes that keep each other in check. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so no way to attack. Yeah, so using the is he using the counter to? Oh no, it's just I getting rid of. I think that one wasn't yeah. Arsenal, so mm -hmm. Pablo couldn't even pitch it. Yeah. And no Arsenal now, which means no crown of seeds, which is a big issue. 
So we're going to see pretty soon if George managed to, to put together and to, to pitch stack a, a strong enough turn to finish Pablo off. Starting with Winter's okay, Bite. That's make, one yeah. Card car. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because when there's a crown of seeds activation possible, it's, it's not as bad to have to pitch to Winter's Bite, but now only three cards in hand, no way to use the crown of seeds. I mean, All maybe a well-timed Codex would work, yeah. but then the Crown is active again, so... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, there's only gonna be one hamstring shot, I guess. Still coming in for seven. And uh, the Ramper can help too. This is the other summer finals, uh, Matagon. So Pablo Pinto versus George Manisakis and the other um, the semi-finals is over and uh, Uzuri won. Sebastian won. Okay. Looking for eight now. And decide if he, deciding with the, with the fate forcing if he wants to keep the card on top of his deck. And he's got one card left in hand. Well, it's possible to get some damage through here as well, I guess. Yeah, probably. Um, the codex, he doesn't have then... any resources left and his tunic is not active, so it has to be a zero cost at all, but still. And I suppose you don't want to give Pablo a card in Arsenal? Uh huh. No, I'm not, not even sure using the codex. Not even using the codex, see? Oh, he didn't have go again anyway. Did he? Uh... No. He didn't have go again, but he could have used the Snapdragon. Yeah, he yeah, but I mean, that was only. This one is probably coming damage. with go again. Yeah, definitely. So now Pablo has the crown active. It's very important, especially because he has the tunic active too. So that's a lot of value. Oh, the Codex of Inertia now. Another one. Another way to get rid of this uh, Crown of Seeds activation. Okay, the Death Touch is now in the graveyard. Mm -hmm. I think it's the first one in the graveyard, so... Yeah, but he will be able to play it afterwards with the Codex of Frailty. The sequencing on these turns by George is amazing. He's playing it perfectly. And the uh, how oh, the endless how. So now Pablo has to choose because he probably won't be able to block both both. The endless arrow and the rain razors. Endless annoying arrow, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so blocking for four with the rampart. So, if he plays the Codex now, then uh, Pablo has the crown, a Rampart for two. Mm -hmm. So I guess he's passing not, the yeah, turn. Yeah, he's very patient now. with the Codex, yeah. Not trying to, to do some weak damage. He wants to keep the, the Codex for a strong turn. And maybe it's coming there now, the, because the, there's the, the, the other of War. Effect. Yeah, the pitch stack as we well. saw the, the pitch stack out of War is there. And the Remorseless is right after this, mm -hmm. if I'm not mistaken, so... 
any of these on the on the tunic turn also so that's coming along perfectly Frostlock being discarded for the Art of War effect, so drawing two. Probably getting plus one to all these attacks this turn. Is the Remorse lesson? No. So that's probably gonna be. Uh... Oh, the Frostlock. Even fused. Okay. A fused Frostlock. So coming in for five. I mean, the unhit effect probably won't be very relevant, but it's still coming. It still comes for five. Oh, and chat is going crazy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Calm down, chat. Okay. Pablo wants to read the card. Well, the activated ability is going to be super annoying because the crown will now cost two. It is an activated ability, right? <laughs> Rampart is not activated, I think. Oh, he's got he's got a pummel in hand that doesn't block too well. Rampart is not a, an activated ability, though. I think. I think it's triggered when yeah. he blocks, so that yeah, so, so you don't have to one. overpay for it. Oh, the Winter's Bite now. Okay. Two resources left. This is very dangerous, this searing shot there. Okay, so what happened with the Frost Lock? That one was not fully blocked, mm. was it? Uh, yeah, apparently not. Maybe... I mean, he didn't take any damage, so yeah, obviously it wasn't blocked. It's a searing shot, though, not a heat seeker. Look That's at gone that. crazy about the shield. Okay, blocking for five, and then, oh, a first codex! How much damage can he do this turn? Can he do the. He can do a Bolton shot. Oh, or Rain Rezus. The, the Winter Spike class changes now. So the shield should be active again. Yeah. Combat chain is closed, yeah. So maybe a bolt and shot of the Falcon winning because he can he can yeah. then play the other codex to, to get another card. Mm hmm Bolt and shot would get go again from the from the art of war. Wow, this is insane. Okay, so he might have missed the shield, but now the, the crown of seats is active at least. 
So that one still costs two from the earlier activation, right? Mm -hmm. But I think it's better to use the, the shield to block now, isn't it? Well, he oh, could, but he, he could he, have blocked yeah, before, before, before attacking. Before attacking, yeah. Though. But before attacking with the yeah, he doesn't want Pablo to get two shield activations, so he's only he'll only be able to block with one. There you go. So Pablo knows that there's a death touch coming, but he can't do much about it. Think for five with the Bolton shot and two ponders coming in. That's absolutely insane. I mean. There needs to be a miracle for, for Pablo to come back at this point. Two codexes, yeah, if you can believe it. Yeah, so many books. <laughs> Lots of nasty yeah. books. It doesn't come from the great library of Solana, I can tell you that. With the, the look on these books, it doesn't look like they come from Solana. But um, Lexi does read a lot, apparently. A ranger with books, yeah. That's the thing with, uh, Such a weird with flesh and blood. Such yeah. uh, and Lexi now. Yeah. Okay, so crowning away with two resources left, uh, with two resources because of the... I guess he could crown before the second yeah. codex, but then he would have to discard whatever he draws anyway, so maybe it didn't matter. Mm -hmm. So has to block with ev everything, the equipment, the, the creator fist and the tunic, manages to not get hit by the death touch, so... No blood drop pox token, I guess. That would have been the, the best choice for George. But still a huge arsenal left, yeah. And you can see Pablo's, uh, Pablo's body language like it. Uh, yeah, another remorseless, okay. Well. Yeah, Oasis with that tunic is, is a big feels bad. And he's still a life gain, so it's still five value with a pitch mm -hmm. and uh, the shield can still be used so yeah it's not the worst I do think that George's deck is getting very thin now it is getting very thin but I think I mean he only needs to to attack three times to to kill him right necessarily like this first attack is going to be coming in for four and Pablo has almost no way to block it efficiently oh no it's a blue one I thought it was the red one but maybe he's used them all <laughs> so it's the blue one coming in for three go again That's the it is a bit easier to years? block not yet not yet Probably pretty soon, but it needs to come at a time when he has some defensive capabilities, which isn't the case now. I mean, which is not really the case now. Well, the shield is not enough, so... Yeah. He needs to give away one card. But I mean, as a tree, this one can just be blocked with a card from hand, so... Mm-hmm. But we, um, I, I don't think if, uh, don't know if you remember, but he pitched away the house the ancients earlier in the game, and they're gonna come back too, and they're only blocking for two, so it might be an issue. Okay, so these, four, so yeah, these and this are always respite target. Mm -hmm. Respiting, yeah. Pitching a two blue. resources left. But the remorseless will be five. So he'll take one, at least, yeah. That's it. But he's still alive. He's at three, so he can block one and then three more. That's yeah. four block. Taking one down to two. Wow, it's so grindy. 
So now, it, yeah, it will come down <laughs> he, to he one might, of these. Yeah. Yeah. He might still win. <laughs> Don't don't worry if it hasn't been clipped because uh, we'll we'll uh, upload all the games to our YouTube channel during the the coming week, so you you will be able to see to rewatch all these games. I really wish we knew how many cars are left in the Lexi deck. Yeah, I mean, it won't be easy to do, but if we could have a a way to. To count the cards and to uh, to display the, them on screen, maybe already already is a genius. So she probably uh, can find a way to do it. I don't know. <laughs> I'll ask her. <laughs> are you sure the blob the blob says nine cards are left? Could be, could be. Well, the blob is in chat and he's probably better than us at counting cards too. So yeah, maybe he's right. The infecting shot can be devastating there. If it hits, wow! It needs to be blocked with two cards, and there's another one. So it's, but the other one is blue. Oh, oh that's a, uh, that's a great block. Wow! That's the blue infecting shot getting blocked, <laughs> and he's still alive. Maybe there is a chance. I'm telling you, if he, if he does it, it is going to be the most insane comeback in the history of this game, probably. I mean, the most insane comeback I've ever seen. But let's not talk too much about it now, because it still has lots of work to do. Oh, that's a blue one, so easy to block. Yeah. Blue one too, wow! Oh my god. And maybe not is he left. making it? Will be will he be able to do it? Look in chat. <laughs> Everybody is going crazy in chat, watching <laughs> this impressive display by one of the greatest players in this game. And Jordan seems disappointed. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> it is! It's insane! What a god! <laughs> I don't understand what I've just seen, guys. 41 it's damage. It's absolutely it insane. <laughs> wow, I don't know how we can follow that with the finals. It's going to be another impre uh, another intense game, I'm sure of it, because it's going to be pop up in top. But wow, what have we just seen, guys? I'm so happy that we managed to watch this yes. together with more than 1,000 people. Oh, my God, that was insane. Honestly, I'm saying, oh, my God, every five seconds now. That, that was probably the best game of Flesh and Blood I've watched in a very <laughs> long time. <laughs> Me too. In a very long time. And you know what? Probably the, the, the previous... Best game I've ever seen was another game by, by Papa <laughs> <Peter Paul. laughs> This guy is amazing. I'm all red. Wow, we fight <laughs> in an impressive fashion. Wow. 